recording in Pro Tools using Logic, Digital Performer, Cubase, Nuendo, Reason, or Ableton Live? Let us mix your project today. We will give your songs a sound that rivals today's hottest acts. Visit eneonicity.com for more details. Welcome to Lesson 5. In this lesson, we will be discussing the Audio Suite plugins, five of them in particular, Duplicate, Gain, Invert, Normalize, and Reverse. Audio Suite plugins can be accessed on the menu bar. So the first thing you'll do is highlight the track, go to Audio Suite, and then pick the plugin. The best use of Duplicate is to highlight a region used in a track that you want to repeat. In this case, we're going to take the first bar of the Space Figure track. So in grid mode, we're going to go ahead and select the first bar. By hitting the Preview button, we can listen to the selection. Then hit Process. Now we have a new audio region with just that particular section. Now, with the grabber tool, all we would have to do is highlight the rest of the track, hit delete, and then go to our base figure. Go to edit, go to repeat, enter the number of bars we want the figure to happen in, and Pro Tools sets it up. The next audio suite plugin we're going to look at is gain. Here we have a drum loop. That seems to be of reasonable level. But let's say that we want to raise it about 4 dB. With the grabber tool, go ahead and highlight the track. Go to the Audio Suite plugin in the menu. And then enter a value of 4 dB. Hit Process. And you can already see the result that it's a higher volume. Next is the invert feature. What invert does is it takes all of the values of a particular sample and it turns them upside down. The best use of the invert function is to correct out of phase tracks that may have been recorded in stereo. As you can see in this bass track, the positive values of the sample are higher than the negative values. So once again, using the grabber tool, we'll highlight the track. Go to Invert, hit Process, and now you can see the sample values have been reversed. The next Audio Suite plugin is Normalize. Here we have a Rhythm King track which is low in volume. Once again, highlighting the entire track, we'll go to Audio Suite, Normalize. And based on a preset level, Pro Tools will take the volume of the loudest sample of the track as it is now and bring it up to 100%. So if we go ahead and hit Process, we can now see that the track is much louder and as high as it can possibly go without digital clipping. Now that it's up to its maximum value, it's probably louder than it really needs to be. So we'll go ahead and undo that, Apple Z. We'll go over to the level section, enter a value of minus three. So now it will modify the track so that the loudest sample is at minus three. Go ahead, hit process. And that's probably at a good level. And finally, there is the Reverse Audio Suite plugin. Here we have a sample of some 808 kick drums. So we're going to reverse the first one. Using the Selector tool, we'll go to bar 3, and we'll go ahead and highlight everything from 1 to 3. Next, we'll pick the Reverse plugin, hit Preview, and this gives you a heads up on what it's going to sound like. Go ahead, hit Process, and now we have a sample that's in reverse.
And this concludes Lesson 5.